Hi, good morning, everyone. Peter, welcome to day four of our daily practice session, in which we cover four exams daily: DEPR, DEPR, RBI DEPR, Indian Economic Service, IAS Economics Optional, and at last, UGC Net Economics. The sessions that I do daily with you will be helpful in preparing for all these four exams together. Okay. But that would be related to statistics and econometrics. Let's read out the question. This is a question that came in DEPR. Again, a memory-based question because the papers are not usually out. So I'm taking a memory-based question and this is the question that came in the year 2022. Right, beta. So let's read out the question. It says, uh, for frequency distribution, if coefficient of variation is given to you as 5, right? Standard deviation is given to you as 2 and Carl Pearson's coefficient of skewness is given to you as 0 0.5. It says, find mean and मोड आपको मीन और मोड निकालना है और आपको तीन चीजें दी गई हैं कोएफिशिएंट ऑफ वेरिएशन जो कि 5 दिया हुआ है एंड स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन एंड कार्ल पियर्सनस कोएफिशिएंट ऑफ स्क्यूनेस ओके ट्राई टू डू दिस क्वेश्चन योरसेल्फ आल्सो बेटा जस्ट गिव इट अ मोमेंट फर्स्ट ट्राई टू डू दिस योरसेल्फ थिंक अबाउट द फार्मूला ऑफ कार्ल पियर्सन कोएफिशिएंट एंड कोएफिशिएंट ऑफ वेरिएशन फार्मूला ओके लेट्स सी तो बेटा कोएफिशिएंट ऑफ वेरिएशन का फार्मूला होता है सिग्मा बाय मीन इनटू 100 एंड स्क्यूनेस का फार्मूला होता है मीन माइनस मोड इनटू स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन अब ध्यान से देखो ट्राई टू सी हियर दैट आई हैव बीन गिवन स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन मुझे सिग्मा गिवन है 2 तो इस फार्मूला में मेरे को ये गिवन है and I have been also given the skewness as 0.5. That means I am also given the skewness as 0.5. So if I will go ahead and I will plug these two values. Agar main ye value yaha dal dun aur ye value yaha dal dun. Still two values are missing. Mean and mode. So this formula is not very useful as of now. Abhi ke liye ye useful nahi hai. So I will resort to the next formula. I am given coefficient of variation is 5. So, we coefficient of variation, mein dala, which is going to be sigma by mean into 100. Right? Sigma is known to me. Coefficient of variation is known to me. But mean ka hi to value nikal hai. So, this is easy to do. So, from here, if I solve for mean, I will get sigma by coefficient of variation into 100. Sigma is given to you as 2. Coefficient of variation as 5 into 100. So, from here, you will get the value of mean as 40. Now, you know mean also. You can put mean, you can put this, you can put this and get mode. So, I am just using this formula now. So, the skewness, coefficient of skewness is mean minus mode by sigma. Mean beta hai made of 40. Mode I don't know and sigma is given to me as 2. And coefficient of uh, skewness is given to me as half, 0 0.5. So I will just put 0 0.5 here. So I will get 0 0.5 is equal to 40 minus mode by sigma. Sigma is 2. So I will get mode as 40 minus half into 2. That means 40 minus 1. That means 39. Right? So my mode will become as 39. Right, beta. So this means that the mean is 40 and the mode is 39. So the correct answer to this question will be B. Okay, come to the next question. So this question now, beta, this came is in Indian Economic Service, General Paper 1, in the year 2011. 2011 IES ke paper ka question. Hai. Let's read out the question. It says find out the variance of the number from 1 to 50. So we need to find the variance of number from 1 to 50. Please, I say, mein ja ke mean nikal ke add and all karna mat start karna. And it says the um, you need to find the coefficient of variation also. 
वॉट इज द एडवांटेज ऑफ कंप्यूटिंग कोफिशियंट ऑफ वेरिएशन ओवर वेरियंस ठीक है इसकी बात बाद में करते हैं सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इफ आई जस्ट आस्क यू की बेटा वॉट विल बी द मीन एनी वन हु कैन टेन मी वॉट इज द मीन ऑफ फर्स्ट एन ऑब्जर्वेशन द मीन ऑफ फर्स्ट एन ऑब्जर्वेशन कैन बी रिटर्न एज तो पहले तो सम ऑफ so so mean of first n observation will be summation x by n and what is the sum of first n observation so summation hota hai n n plus 1 by 2 divided by n so summation of first n observation can be written as n n plus 1 by 2 by n ho gaya so this is going to give me n plus 1 by 2 so we find out that the mean of x yahan pe bache the mean of x will come out as n plus 1 by 2 ye mean aa gaya now if i just have to go ahead and find the variance so variance will be summation xi minus mean whole square divided by the number of observation ye variance ho jayega so this means that i can write this as summation xi minus mean will be what beta n plus 1 by 2 whole square into 1 by into 1 by ठीक है। मेरी बात। A B summation is here बेटा Inside a summation जो मेरे पास यहां पर चीज थी I am opening this up I have opened this up and written it like this right and I have summation here Whole square, right, beta? Okay, sorry, not whole square. I have opened that up. Okay, so this will give me one by n submission x i square plus submission n plus one by two whole square minus two submission x i n plus one by two. I have taken some everywhere. Hmm? Okay, beta. So this is going to be summation x i square by n plus this is getting added up n times. So n n plus one whole square by two square will be four. I will have n here minus two. This is this can come out of summation n plus one by two, and then this is getting inside. So I have n here, and then Summation x i, summation x i, right? Okay, beta. Now let me try to just see if I can simplify this. This n and n will cancel out. Here two and two will cancel out. Now notice that the sum of, uh, sum of the square of the first n observation can be actually written as n, n plus one, two n plus one by six. Right, divided by n plus. This is n plus one whole square by four plus n plus one by n, and the sum of the observations can be written as n n plus one by two, n n plus one by two. Okay, so you will go ahead and you will get n plus one two n plus one by six. Plus n plus one whole square by four plus n plus one whole square by two. I think there was a negative sign here, not plus. So I will have negative sign here. Right? Am I clear? Okay. Now what you can do is you can just take n plus one by two common. So you will have two n plus one by three plus n plus one by two. Minus n plus one, right? 
So this will give you n plus 1 by 2. And I can take LCM of 6. So this is going to be 2 times 2n plus 1 plus 3 times n plus 1 minus 6 times n plus 1. So this is going to be n plus 1 by 2. And this will be 4n plus 2 plus 3n plus 3 minus 6n minus 6 by 6. Okay, now let's just try to simplify. 4n plus 3n is 7n minus 6n is n. And 2 plus 3 is 5 minus 6 is minus 1 by 6. And n plus 1 by 2. So this is going to be giving me n square minus 1 by 12. And actually, this is the formula for variance. Many of you would know the formula for variance already. This is the formula for variance. Okay, better. So now it was asked, it was it was given that n is first 50 observation. So if I were to find the mean now, so what would be the mean? Mean would be 50 plus 1 by 2, 51 by 2, 25.5. And if someone asks me to find the variance, so what is going to be the variance in this case? 50 square minus 1 by 12. So this is going to be 2500 minus 1 by 12. So this is going to be 2499 by 12. Right? So this will be 208.25. Now if I ask you to find the standard deviation, so the standard deviation would be under root of 208.25 and that will give you 14.43. If I ask you to find the coefficient of variation, it will be uh, standard deviation by mean into 100. So this is going to be 14.43 divided by 25.5 into 100. Right? And this will give you approximately 56.59. Okay, now the last thing that is left for us to be done is, so the last part says, what is the advantage of computing coefficient of variation over the variance? Why should you be going for coefficient of variation? Huh? So that's the question that we need to answer. So it's very simple. See, coefficient of variation is a normalized measure. It doesn't have any dimension. Jab hum sigma ki baat karte hai, when we talk about standard deviation, it has a measure, right? It has a unit attached to it. Whereas coefficient of uh, variation, it is normalized with no dimension. It is unitless, right? So it can go ahead and it can help you give better measure of diversion, a better measure of dispersion because it is unitless. And also you need to understand that a lot of times it helps us to calculate risk. So, when we talk about stock market, we have to say that if two players are there who are playing well, huh? just if I have player one and player two, and player one has average high score, and comparatively player one, two, B has average low score, is ye on an average zada score, kar hai, but he also has more variance. And he has less variance in his score, then which player will I prefer? Just by comparing the variance, mujhe nahi pata chalega, should I go with player A or player B? Under risky situation, I need to go ahead and find the coefficient of variation. Ki theek hai, ye on an average score to zyada kar raha hai. But ye bhi to hoga na ki, ye iska score vary bhi zyada kar raha hai. Aur iska score vary kam kar raha hai, but iska average bhi kam hai. So I need to go ahead and I need to find the coefficient of variation to go ahead and understand which player I should be going for. Same is the case with stock market. There may be a stock which may give you high return. Return in A is greater than return in B. But return A may to return a raha hai, that varies a lot. There is high amount of variation in the returns and this varies less. So which stock should I be going for? To understand such kind of question, I need coefficient of variation. So, this coefficient of variation is an important measure. Right, beta? Okay. Thank you.